Hi, today we will be talking about uh, fetal movements during pregnancy. It's a very common, common question by pregnant women. They want to know how to count the movements, whether their baby is doing well or not. So basically what you have to understand is each and every baby is different. They have their own behavioral pattern. So if you really want to understand, you should note down the morning, afternoon and evening patterns of your baby. And then if any variations happen in that pattern, you should be alert. The importance of fetal movements comes usually after 28 weeks of pregnancy where you can appreciate them well and uh, if less movements are there or any problems is there, delivery can be expedited and baby can be saved as well. Coming to the normal movements, uh, usually in one hour they should move for three to five times. So what we tell our patients is after breakfast, after lunch and after dinner, in one hour they should observe for movements and it should be three to five movements in one hour. Or there is another uh, count that is also called as Cardiff count, uh, the rule of 10. So at least 10 movements should be there in 12 hours. So this is the pattern which we follow. Also you should know that baby also takes rest for some time. So baby's resting phase may be from 30 minutes to one and a half hour. So in case you had a very good movements and one and a half hour you didn't have any movements and again you had a movements that's absolutely normal. But if no movements beyond one and a half hour you should get little alert, you should have something to eat, walk around, drink something so that you can experience the movements. If not immediately visit your gynecologist. So when you should get alert when the normal behavioral pattern which I described already is not being followed or if the movements are less than 10 in 12 hours or if the movements are too much followed by cessation of movements that is also not normal. In all these cases you should immediately visit to the emergency and see your doctor. They will check for the heartbeat, they will do the NST, see the behavioral pattern. If required the biophysical profile will also be done. So don't miss on these things. If you have any problem with the movements or understanding the movements, ask your doctor now. Thank you.